all you coin collectors out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the one cent coins from Canada. And we have a bunch of them here and as I go through you'll kind of figure out the reason. In fact, you'll figure out the reason pretty quickly because let's just start with the 2011. So this is the 2011 one cent coin from Canada. I should note that Canada has never, that I know of, ever called their coins penny coins. I mean in sense of it's they've never written that on the coin. This is a 2011 version. We're looking at the back, a George Kruger gray uh, engraving. And some of you who've seen our Australia um, video will say, hey wait, KG, we know that. That's the guy whose initials are above the kangaroo's tail on the Australian. So George Kruger Gray, the engraver who engraved this Australian penny, is also the one who engraved the back of this Canadian penny, the famous sprig of maple leaves. This 2011 version is very shiny, so it's hard to kind of get it, uh, get the light right on it, is the next to the last year they made them. And that's why we have so many Canadian pennies or one cent coins that we're going to look at because Canada doesn't use the one cent coin anymore. They uh, have stopped making them in 2012 and stopped distributing them in 2013. That doesn't mean you might not still get some in change, but they are not um, minted anymore or produced anymore, even though they are still um, of, of worth one cent. Uh, the problem was that it just cost them more to make them than they were worth. This is a copper-plated steel coin, and if we turn it over, we'll see the pick, the engraving the, of Queen Elizabeth II when she was 77 years old. This is a Susanna Blunt engraving. Nice, the pearls, I believe, down here, and the earring again. Elizabeth II, D.G. Regina, uh, by the grace of God, Queen. We have this beaded inner rim. And then we have the Royal Canadian Mint sign down here. Next, we'll go back to a prior portrait. And I wanted to throw this one in because uh, the copper-plated steel of the more modern Canadian coins um, wasn't there always. Th this is one of the bronze coins. And this is, again, is Elizabeth II, G.G. Regina. Um, this is the Arnold Machen portrait. Uh, of the Queen wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. Smooth edge, uh, one cent, 1976. I should say that these coins are all the same size in terms of um, diameter and everything, and that is 19.05, uh, and there's a kg there, and uh, millimeters in diameter and 3.24 in weight. Then as we go back, we find the first of the series of small cents. And the first Canadian small cents came really, really early. And they, they were with the George the fifth small cents, which started in 1920. This is a 1935 version. And again, this is the same size as the modern one. And uh, it's 3.24 grams, just like the modern one. It says George V, Dia Gratia, Rex, king by the grace of God. It doesn't say Regina because Regina means queen and Rex means king. And Imperator of India or Emperor of India and he's facing to the left. If we go to the back we see a uh, very basic uh, back on these coins. It says Canada 1 cent 1935. So this coin was made from 1920 to 1936. Edgar B. McKennell uh, did the uh, portrait of the king and Fred Lewis and James Blakemore did uh, this back. And again, we see the Canadian maple leaves came very early. And that's where uh, George Kruger Gray adopted them from. This coin, there were 7.5 million of these coins made. So this, there's quite a few of them out there still. Uh, but it is some, has some value, a couple dollars US. And then finally, we'll go back to the large Canadian penny. One of the things you'll notice about the large Canadian penny, it was, it was not as large as the other large pennies. It came uh, very early in Canada, and uh, this is an 1890, let me see, it's an 1893, and it's Queen Elizabeth 
<laughs> Queen Elizabeth's great great grandmother, Queen Victoria. And you see it says Victoria Dia Gratia. And if we can get that over there, Queen Canada. And she's facing to the left. And this particular portrait um, was on the coin from 1876 to 1901, but they made a couple different versions. And this is the last version. This is an 1893 version. We also have a 1897 version, so you can look at the front and the back at the same time. And you see that a little bit similar in terms of the back of this coin and the back of the first small penny. They kind of took the leaves. See, see how these maple leaves go around? They took the leaves, put them here. So this is 1897, this is 1894. Uh, this is Queen Victoria's, I think, fourth portrait. Um, and this one went from 1876 to 1901. In, in 1893, they made two million. In 1897, they made 1.5 million. This coin is a bronze coin, just like the other ones. And when we put them up, next to each other we see this is the modern uh, more modern one and it's much much smaller all right that's all we have today from the dc coin world international coin channel we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments section